Hello everyone. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this lesson, we'll be learning how to add read more links or excerpts to our website. So for example, in front of you, you can see a blog post. Now, we probably don't want to output the entire body text of this blog post on the initial blog listing screen. We likely only want to output the first 30 to 50 words and then include some sort of a read more link. And then if a user clicks on that, it then takes them to the full article with the full text. Well, in this lesson, we're going to review a few different paths that we can take to achieve just that. So let's get started. Your first option is to edit the post that you would like to add a read more link to. So this one is titled alternate opinion post. I will hop over to my dashboard, click on posts. Here's the one that I'm interested in. Okay, so let's say I only want mm, the first paragraph to display, and then I want to read more link. I simply place my cursor at the end of the paragraph, and then there is this insert read more tag in the WordPress content editor. So if I click that, it will add uh, this more line. Now if I click update, and then if we go and refresh the actual website, you can see that it's that simple. <laughs> There's now a more link, and if I click that, it takes me to the full article. Now really quickly, let's hop back over to the dashboard again, and I want to point out that we were using the visual editor that WordPress offers, but if you click the text, if you use the text version of the editor, the same exact behavior applies. You can simply click this more button and it will insert this code that functions the exact same. It's just a code representation of this more line. You may be thinking, okay, but what if I don't want it to read more dot dot dot? Can I customize it? You absolutely can. So in your code editor, go ahead and open up uh, whatever theme page you're interested in editing. In this case, I'll be editing index.php and look for where you're outputting the content. Look for where you're using the, the content function. Inside the parentheses for the function, single quote, now you can include any text you'd like. So if I want it to say continue reading and then an arrow, this is the symbol for an, a right facing arrow. If I refresh, we can see that that takes place. It's that simple to customize the text. So we can see that the WordPress read more button is very powerful and in certain circumstances, it's your best bet. However, there are other options out there. So please do not think that this is your only option because the old saying goes, if your only tool is a hammer, you begin to treat everything as if it were a nail. For example, this is our blog listing page. You can see we have multiple blogs on this page or excuse me, multiple blog posts. And what if we don't want just some of them to have a continued reading link? What if we want each and every one of them to only display, you know, a few sentences and then have a read more link? Well, in that case, maybe it doesn't make sense to rely on manually adding a read more button from the content editor. Maybe we should do things a bit more programmatically. If that's the case, then I recommend temporarily ignoring the read more button and instead hopping over to your code. And instead of using the the content function let's use the the excerpt function now you can see that every post on this blog listing page now uses the excerpt well what is the excerpt you ask in your wordpress uh, post editor you probably won't see the excerpt field by default but if you scroll to the top and you click on the screen options tab you should get some sort of a slide down and then look for the excerpt checkbox and check it. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see this new field named excerpt. And if we add custom text in here and go ahead and click update, we can see that this post is using that custom excerpt text that we just input. Now, if we click on this post, we can then see here's the full body text. Now, on this blog listing page, you can see that we didn't manually enter excerpts for any of these other posts. WordPress is automatically, because we left that field empty for all these other posts, it's automatically grabbing the first 55 words of the post and only outputting that. So if I click on this post, here's the full text. A quick side note for any of you who have been following along this entire WordPress video series, 
we need to make sure that our theme folder has a file named single.php. So if you've been following along, you'll notice that we haven't created this file together yet. I just created it behind the scenes, and all I did was duplicate index.php and change this line where we just changed this to the excerpt. Well, in single.php, I just changed it right back to the content. So if you've been following along, just go ahead and make sure to make that change as well. Uh, but if you're really just trying to adjust a different theme, then this doesn't matter at all uh, because your single.php file should already be good to go. So moving on, if we head back to the home page, you might realize that when we were using the content and then clicking the read more button in the WordPress content editor, we had a nice read more or continue reading link. But now that we're using the excerpt, instead we get in this case nothing and in this case brackets with three dots neither of which is very useful. So what if we would like to add back in that read more or continue reading link? It's actually fairly simple. We'll head over to index.php. Now remember where we just changed this from the content to the excerpt for our homepage? Well, we're actually going to change it to get the excerpt. And what this will do, we obviously need to echo it then, it will return the excerpt text, but it won't try to help us with HTML which means we need to wrap our own paragraph tags around it. And then directly after the excerpt, we'll just manually include our own read more link. So we will say, create a link that says read more, oops, with a right facing arrow. And for the actual URL value, we can just drop into PHP and say the permalink. Okay, so now if we refresh, you can see that it's that easy. We have read more links and if we click them, we're taken to that page. Okay, so now that our excerpts have a read more link, the next step would be to customize the length of the excerpt itself. So by default, I believe WordPress will grab the first 55 words. But let's say you wanted it to only be 25 words. Well, it's quite easy to customize. Let's head over to our functions.php file in our theme folder. I'm going to create a new comment that says customize excerpt word count length. Okay. And we're just going to create a new function named custom excerpt length. You could actually name this function anything you would like. And then inside the function, all we want to do is return a, an integer. So I will say return 25. Okay, so that's all the code we need for the function. But now we need to tell WordPress to actually run this function at some point. So WordPress has a function named add filter. And this will allow us to hook on, you can almost think of them as events. Uh, but in this case, we're going to hook on to a filter named excerpt length. And then we get to say what we want to replace the default behavior with. So we want to tack on to excerpt length, and then we want to replace it with this function that we just created named custom excerpt length. So now, add a semicolon, and if we refresh, you can see that the excerpts are now only using uh, 25 words instead of 55. So now that we see how excerpt works, you might be thinking to yourself, hmm, well, I would like to have the best of both worlds. What if on my homepage, I want to display the full complete text for posts if I don't enter an excerpt, but if I do enter a manual excerpt, then only show the excerpt. Well, that's actually not that difficult to set up. So let's hop over to our index.php file, and we're going to add some new code right around this area. We'll use an if statement. So we'll say, once we drop into PHP, we'll say if the current post that is being looped through has a excerpt, then we'll do something. But if it doesn't, else, then we'll do something else. Okay, so now it's just a matter of placing this code in the brackets that will run if there is an excerpt. Then I'll drop into and out of PHP where it's appropriate. And then in this set of brackets, this is what happens if there isn't an excerpt. So then we simply just want to output the content. So if we refresh, 
you can see that our first post, because remember, we entered a manually crafted excerpt in the excerpt field. It's only displaying the excerpt with a read more link. But these other posts, because we didn't enter anything in the excerpt field, they're simply displaying the full text. So as you can see, there's a lot of different options for how you want to use read more links and excerpts. But hopefully this video gave you a good introduction as to what's out there and how you can achieve what you'd like. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you feel like you learned something. And stay tuned for more WordPress and web development tutorials. Thanks. Bye.